Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher and today is a much anticipated update on Anna and her last vet visit to have her leg checked since she was still limping on that back leg. If you don't know Anna's story, Anna was rescued back in August from a kill pen that's here in Texas. These were the pictures posted of Anna from Last Chance Direct Shipped Horses. Anna was defeated starved, neglected, and just dumped here to die at a kill pen. And we knew that if we didn't do something and step in to help her, that her fate was going to be a lot different than what it was today. This was the video from the kill pen of Anna moving. You can tell from this video that she's limping on her back left leg. So we knew from the beginning that she had something wrong with that back leg, but we just didn't know what it was. Once she was safe, this is Shayna from Last Chance Direct Shipped Horses. She takes the animals from the kill pen to her farm, and this was her when she got Anna to her farm. So this was Anna moving. I wanted to see a little bit more of what was actually going on with that back leg, if she thought it was something with her hoof or something with her hip or what, what the situation was. So this was when Anna was safe and out of the kill pen. So Corey just got her home. I am. Just got her home and she is in some rough, rough shape. This poor baby. She is so skinny. You can see every, every rib. She's super sweet, but you can see every rib. And she is really, really skinny. You poor thing. I know, baby. I know. You can see every bone in her body. Poor, poor baby. After we got Anna to the farm and settled in, a couple days later, Dr. Wagner from MVP came out to the farm to do a wellness check on her to see how she was doing, to make sure that she had gut sounds and that her heart and her lungs were functioning properly. We also did blood work to check her liver and kidneys and everything was normal, but she was limping on that back leg. Dr. Wagner also said that she had probably uh, had a baby at some point too because she still had milk in her sacks, which was sad news because we didn't know where the baby went. But her initial consultation, she thought her back left leg and why she was limping on it was because she had no muscle there from being starved. So our main goal when we first got her here was to get more weight on her and get her some muscle to see if that would help with her leg. At the end of September, we had Dr. Wagner come back out to the farm to check on Anna again. We were feeding her Alpha Pro slowly, which was alfalfa pellets soaked in water to help her gain some weight. And as you can see in this video, she was gaining weight really well. The only problem now we had was that she was still limping on that back left leg and she was also getting some inflammation in those back lower joints. So we started her on some Prevacox to help with the inflammation. We also repeated all her blood work and all her blood work came back normal again. So she was doing really well, but her we needed to figure out what was going on with her back left leg. So we wanted to make sure that the Prevacox was going to work. So we were going to give this a little bit of time to see if it helped her. And then if it wasn't, we were going to have to bring her in to get some x-rays done on that back leg. Anna is on the road to recovery and looking beautiful these days. Not that she didn't look beautiful before, but she's definitely beautiful now. She's put on a ton of weight but was still having some problems with that back um, left leg and limping on it. So this past week, we took her down to MVP to get that leg looked at. And this video is about her trip down to MVP and what the doctor gave us as a diagnosis and how we got that taken care of. But this was a little clip from her, her time down at MVP when we went to the vet's office. Anna saw Dr. Barclay when we were down at MVP. Dr. Wagner is actually out on maternity leave. He started out by watching her walk around the parking lot, and he wanted to check to make sure that she didn't have anything in her hoof. So right here, he's cleaning out her hoof and just checking her hoof wall with that other tool to make sure that the issue wasn't stemming from her hoof. Since the issue wasn't coming from her hoof, we decided to go ahead and do some x-rays. And this was Anna right after she got her x-rays done. From the x-ray, we found out that Anna has a bone spur in her stifle joint. This little white part that's sticking up off the top of her joint is where the bone spur is. So that's what's causing her issues. Not knowing the anatomy of a horse's leg, this is where the stifle joint is in a horse's back rear leg. 
and some other anatomy in case you wanted to know. Dr. Barclay's recommended treatment was to inject this joint with a steroid to help with her pain. So right here, the vet techs are cleaning the area where they're going to do the injection. He also recommended that we put her back on Prevacox to help with some of the pain and the inflammation that she's having in these legs. His other recommendation was to make sure that we turned her out with the rest of the horses so she would be able to move more and just get more fluid to this joint to help her with all the issues that she's having and the stiffness and the lameness that's going on here in this joint. But we're going to give this a go and see if this helps her out. Anna was an excellent patient at the vet. This was us just waiting for Dr. Barclay to come out to do the injection after they had cleaned the area. So Anna did really well. Didn't try to kick at anybody, didn't do anything. She was super calm, and everybody loves seeing the Belgians when they come down to the office. This was Anna's first vet visit, and she did so well. They also use a nose twitch for additional safety to make sure that the horses stay still during a procedure like a joint injection. So this is Dr. Barclay doing the injection into her joint. So that's where her stifle joint is, and that's where she was having some inflammation and also the arthritis. So this steroid injection is going to help with all the pain that she was having. And if she continues to have pain, then we're going to bring her back and we're going to do some additional treatments. Dr. Barclay said it could take up to a week to actually see any changes in her walking or for the steroid shot to take full effect. So right here, she's still not putting any weight on it. But as I went to go touch it, it did feel like the swelling in that area was down. So that was a good sign. It was still a little bit swollen, but definitely not the way it was when she was at the vet's office the day before. So it was just going to take some time for the steroid shot to get in there and start working and start to give her some relief. But she was still limping on this leg the day after the steroid shot. Dr. Barclay did recommend, too, that we get her turned out with the rest of the herd so she can walk more. This was her out in the pasture area, so stay tuned for an update video on her integration. But this was her walking out in the pasture, and she's moving much better, not as stiff in that back left leg. She's still a little stiff, but that's going to be to be expected because of her age and the bone spur that's in there. There's nothing that we can completely do to get rid of all her pain, but we're definitely going to manage it. So she's doing much better and walking much better so that we're on the road to recovery and we couldn't be happier. So we're going to get Anna back on Prevacox and we're going to uh, see how she responds to the treatment that she got the other day with the steroid shot in her joint and we're going to take it from there. So really hope you enjoyed this video and thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll have more updates coming soon. So make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything happening here around the farm. Thanks again for watching. We truly appreciate your support.